I lost one son, 2021, down the street from my house. Justice gonna be served for this one. I don't know about to be looking for nothing like this to happen to them. 12 a.m. My baby was gone. My baby was gone. See, they didn't want us to see the condition of my baby because I would I would have went down there where my baby was. A West Memphis, Arkansas mother was looking forward to her son's high school graduation and prom. Instead, she was left to plan his homegoing service. Shirley Howell woke up around 11 p.m. on March 5th, a Saturday night. Her son, 18-year-old Fredarius Wilson, hadn't gotten home yet. The worried mother texted him and called him several times. Around 11.08, she received a text message saying he was out with a friend, but it didn't include any information regarding when he planned to return home. This was unlike Fredarius, so she continued to call and text, but still no answers. Earlier, between 4.30 p.m. and 5 p.m., the teen left with his classmate in a four-door red or burgundy vehicle to head to the movies on a date, according to his mother. The woman also shared that she later learned he was with someone else. I'm texting his phone, asking him, boy, where you with? No response. I call. No response. I'm calling, 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 back and forth, calling. No response. On March 7th, Shirley, along with other family members, filed a missing persons report with the West Memphis Police Department. It had been more than 24 hours since she'd last seen for Darius. According to the report, he was last seen wearing a yellow and white shirt, yellow pajama pants, possibly with Spongebob or Pikachu characters on it, and black Crocs. Shirley also posted a status on Facebook, which read, Good afternoon, y'all. My son didn't have any enemies, nor was he a troubled child. He worked, went to school, and played his game. He was a pure mama's boy. He went on a date with this girl three times, and now he's nowhere to be found or heard from. Y'all, please bring my baby home. I miss my biscuit. Where you at, Lord? Help me. Early on, investigators were able to ping Wilson's phone and determined it was in the Holly Springs National Forest in Yalabusha County, Mississippi, which is about 80 miles from his home. The West Memphis PD contacted the Yalabusha County Sheriff's Office, who started searching for Wilson in the area. Following a six-hour search, they still hadn't found him. The area was described as very remote. Sadly, around 11.20 a.m., a U.S. Forest Service employee located Wilson's lifeless body near Country Road 243 in the rural area. The Sheriff's Department, assisted by the MBI, U.S. Forestry Service, District Attorney's Office, and the Water Valley Police Department responded to process the scene. The teen's loved ones had also searched the area in hopes of finding him alive. We searched all over Memphis, downtown by the river, Harbor Town, uh, the medical district. If I would have seen my baby right there, I would have contaminated this crime scene because I would have had to go get my baby. I would have had to go get him. Cause that was mine. Around about this time, he's supposed to be getting out of school, going going in his room to go to sleep so he get ready to go to work. He can't do that. He laying on somebody's slab. This wasn't like my baby. 11.08, 12 a.m., my baby was gone. My baby was gone. See, they didn't want us to see the condition of my baby because I would've, I would've went down there where my baby was. While authorities have not revealed Fredarius's cause or manner of passing, his mother shared that she was informed her son was found with multiple discharge wounds. A West Memphis spokesperson also confirmed that the teen's passing is now considered a homie but didn't outline specific details. 
the coroner announced that he'd sent Wilson's body to the state crime lab for further investigation. Following the news, Wilson's heartbroken mother spoke about her son to the media, saying he hardly ever strayed away from home and was set to graduate from high school. Academies of West Memphis High School, where Fredarius was a senior, released a statement which spoke of how the teen would light up the classroom with his smile, kindness, and magnetic personality. It appeared that he was well-liked by both staff and students. Though details from authorities are scarce, Wilson's mother shared that surveillance footage captured for Darius at a McDonald's on Missouri Street in West Memphis, where he allegedly was seen with a woman in question. That's how Mississippi found out who she was, but they're not giving us the information, but they have information on the other young lady. From the moment it was announced he went missing and also following the news of his passing, concern and subsequently tributes poured in. A former teacher of Wilson's wrote that he was sunshine and she'd never seen him without a smile. Another commenter wrote that out of everyone, he would have never thought that Fredarius would have went missing before saying that he was praying for a safe return. Shirley, who had previously lost a son, took to Facebook to share her grief in a post where she asked why, recalled that he was slated to graduate soon, and said that he didn't bother anyone. A vigil was organized by the Academies of West Memphis High School's class of 2023 for March 15th. Meanwhile, a family is left to cope with their new reality. As mentioned previously, unfortunately, Fredarius was the second son Shirley lost to gun bio. On September 6, 2021, 28-year-old Dalvin Dante Washington had just left his mother's home when a dark-colored Jeep Patriot pulled up next to him at the corner of Church and 32nd Street. An assailant in the vehicle released several discharges into Washington's vehicle, wounding him and his passenger, ultimately ending the 28-year-old's life. He left behind a beautiful daughter. So sad. Though many believe it was not a random incident and his family had been vocal about wanting justice to be served, it does not appear that much progress has been made in the case. If you have any information regarding Dalvin's case, please provide such to Crime Stoppers by calling 870-732-4444 with whom you can remain anonymous or you can also contact law enforcement directly. I lost one son, 2021, down the street from my house. Just is gonna be served for this one. Regarding for Darius's case, as of this video, investigators have not publicly released any information about a motive or possible suspect or person of interest. If you have any information that may assist authorities with solving this case, please contact the Yalabusha County Sheriff's Office at 662-473-3602. May the family and friends of Fredarius Wilson, find solace in the happy memories and may his soul rest in perpetual peace. Thank you.